Hi, my name is Joshua, and together with Laia Annika Miller, we will be your instructors for today. Our topic is about studying. What exactly is studying? Studying is commonly referred to as going to school, but in technicality, it is the art of learning about new things. It is the process of discovering something. In the past up to the present, people have some sort of way of studying in order to utilize or innovate new things. An example of this is the existence of universities and schools. But it does not mean that if you go to school on a regular basis, you study effectively. Now, why do we need to study effectively? You see, many students envy those who study effectively because they have the ability to answer every exam, do all the schoolworks, and even pass all the subjects with flying colors. Some even manage to join many extracurricular activities and organizations like school varsities, clubs, and student coordinating councils, all without a trace of stress nor pressure on their faces. Many people think that the lives of these so-called studious people only revolve about school and nothing else. This brings us to the common misconceptions about studious people or people who study effectively. You know, what you think is completely different from reality. There are some things that studious people do that make other students think that they think or act differently. Here are some of the misconceptions. Number one, they think that all these studious students only care about grades and nothing more. Number two, they think that these studious people have no social lives. Number 3. When studious people get home, they do nothing but study. You know, these things may seem to be true, but that is why we are here. Our next instructor, Leia Annika Miller, will be here to explain to you how to be one of these studious students and what they really do. Now before we talk about the tips about studying, let's must first agree that we should prepare ourselves, both physical and mental. This includes our eating patterns, sleeping patterns, and also our proper mindset about school. Tip number one, sleep early and of course, sleep. I know this one seems impossible since we students are always putting an all-nighter to finish our requirements, but it's possible if you have discipline within yourselves. Always try to maximize your time and give yourself a 6 to 8 hours of sleep. For example, visualize yourself that you need to finish it before 10 p.m. so that you can sleep early. Tip number 2 is to have proper eating habits. Don't skip meals. Eat first before doing something so that your mind is clear and able to formulate ideas. Starving can also affect your mood and some people are easily be triggered because they haven't had his or her lunch yet. Lastly, we must have a proper way of thinking about school. Don't just do it for the attendance or for your completing of your requirements. Keep in mind that school is about learning. Make this statement as a motivation for yourself for the entire year. Now, after we talk about a proper health and mindset, you must practice discipline and have some ground rules when you're studying. Number one, exhibit proper time management. Do your school works first so that you will not cram in the last minute so that you can do whatever you want after. They also suggest that you make your planner where you can put all of your deadlines in place. This way, you will know what should be done first when you find yourself loaded with deadlines. Second, avoid using social media so that you will not be distracted when you're studying. Yes, checking your different social media accounts is part of our lives as a teenager. However, you must learn when to stop browsing your feeds if you know that you have deadlines to get. When in school, you must listen to lectures, ask questions, and take notes. 
A common problem with us students is that we have difficulty in listening to boring teachers. And sometimes the subject being discussed is just so hard that your brain is zoning out and your ears are just not listening anymore. But I guess we only have one solution for this and that is to listen and try to grasp the lesson as much as we can. Ask questions to your teacher and don't be intimidated by them. Believe me, they like students who ask questions because that means that you are determined to understand whatever they're explaining in front. And also, take notes instead of just taking a picture of your PowerPoint presentations in front. Most schools allow their students to bring their phones in class and they use it to take pictures of the PowerPoint, but let's be honest, we don't actually open these pictures until we have 5 minutes to review before the upcoming quiz. And it's proven fact that we can remember more when we write our notes on paper instead of just taking a picture of it. And bonus part, if your quiz is open notes and phones are not allowed, then it's your lucky day. For tips in reviewing, make time in studying alone and studying with your peers. There are times when you really need to study alone, but sometimes group studies are more effective. Though some say that having a group study is just a joke because instead of actually discussing about the lesson, you're discussing about something else. But hey, group studies actually works if all of you are determined to learn something in the end. Not only the listeners will benefit from this, but also the one who teaches the lesson because what he or she is teaching is also a form of review for him or her. In group projects, do your part and collaborate with people. There shouldn't be a freeloader and of course, don't be a freeloader yourself. Avoid making excuses and always do your part to maintain the harmony in your group. And since it's a group project, collaborate with your groupmates. Whether you like them or not, respect each other. If you have a good relationship with your groupmates, you can easily accomplish your tasks without having to stress anything. And after all of your works are done, you deserve to have fun. Just because you have to study doesn't mean that you have to study all day. Do your hobbies after. Play games or watch your favorite series. And if sleeping is your hobby, then go! Also, socialize. Go out with your friends and enjoy being young. You don't have to sacrifice your social life because of school. You'll probably go crazy if you don't interact with people. And those are our tips in studying effectively. In studying, discipline is a must. You won't be able to follow our tips if you don't practice discipline. Also, keep in mind that your health, whether physical nor mental, comes before grades. This is Tutorial Hub, signing off.